You have never loved me. You have only thought it pleasant to be in love with me. It is perfectly true, Torvald. When I was at home with Papa, he told me his opinion about everything. And so I had the same opinions as him. And if I differed from him, I concealed the fact because he would not have liked it. He called me his doll child. And he played with me just as I used to play with my dolls. And when I came to live with you, I mean, I was simply transferred from Papa's hands into your hands. You arranged everything according to your own taste, so I had the same taste as yours, else I pretended to. I am really not quite sure which. I think sometimes the one and sometimes the other. When I look back on it, it seems to me that I have been living here like a poor woman, just from hand to mouth. I have existed merely to perform tricks for you, Torvald, but you would have it so. You and Papa have committed a great sin against me. It is your fault that I have made nothing of my life. I have made nothing of my life. Oh, I have made nothing of my life. Oh. Where am I? What is this? Torval? Emmy? Children? What is happening? This seems a place quiet, empty, dark. Am I dead? Is this hell? Purgatory, perhaps. But if purgatory, what am I to purge but the bitterness of a life wasted? Was it wasted? I feel faint. They've drugged me. Torvald and the doctor have drugged me. I'm unwell, they said. Mad. I'm not mad. Mad to live in a madhouse with him. How dare he? How dare these men keep us locked up? What is this? Suitcases. These are mine. And who's? Where is everyone? Has the world really been denuded? Or is this all in my mind? And I really am mad. To leave husband and children. My children. My children. What future for my children in a world of such saccharine lies? What's this? There's something there, stirring. But who? Who am I? Now. Now that I have stripped myself of all identity. The identity of mother, of wife, carer. The few masks we women are allowed. Who am I? Here. Now.